Let's bring in Florida's Governor Rick Scott. Governor Scott, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. This is a this is an unbelievable hurricane. It's big. 100, it's 180 miles per hour. It's way bigger than Hurricane Andrew 25 years ago. We're going to see storm surge. I just want to make sure everybody in Florida understands the significance of this. It could impact either coast. The storm surge is going to be significant. We can get hurricane winds on both coasts. So everybody needs to listen to local officials about evacuation orders. Right. Make sure you have a plan. You know, I, I was looking at the very latest track from the National Weather Service, and they're basically saying that this, after devastating the Caribbean, is going to make landfall somewhere on the southeastern coast of your state. That brings to mind the Keys. That brings to mind the intense population center of Miami. So how are preparations going there? Well, we've been evacuating the Keys uh, since Wednesday, um, so you can follow the traffic count. People are leaving the Keys right now, so we've got to continue to do that. We started evacuation yesterday in Miami-Dade, uh, so we'll continue to follow this. But the big thing is, on both coasts, everybody has to understand, this thing could, mo could move, hurricanes move, we've seen that in the past, uh, so it could still impact the West Coast. But this is going to be bigger than, than Andrew in that we're going to have m much more storm surge with this. Uh, the winds are bigger, the storm surge is bigger, the size of the hurricane is way bigger. So we're, we're everybody's, you know, my biggest issue right now probably is fuel. Uh, we put a lot of effort yesterday into trying to make sure we get enough fuel in the state so, so when people want to evacuate, they can. I'm asking people, don't take more fuel than you need. Uh, so we can spread that around so everybody will be able to evacuate. But we will get everybody out if you follow evacuation orders. Well, Governor, I, but I, I do wonder about it because we just saw in Houston, you know, there was obviously a debate over whether or not that city sh should have been evacuated. How do you decide where you're going to mandatorily evacuate? And when you have a storm this big that could cover your whole state, where are they supposed to go? I think because of Harvey, everybody's more focused on, on evacuation. But what, what we're doing is by area, we know, we know based on the storm, stir, storm surge, how far inland this water is going to go, how high, we have a pretty good idea right now, but that's gonna, it can, it's going to change. Uh, but it's just because this track has been consistent, they change all the time. So that's what we're doing. We're taking the wind, number, wind estimates, we're taking the storm surge estimates, and we're starting to do evacuation orders. And we'll be going up the coast as we see this hurricane get closer and closer to our state. The Keys have already, uh, they're already evacuating, uh, but we're, we're making sure everybody's getting out. Uh, right. We're providing transportation if you don't have it. All right, Governor Scott, I just want people to know, before we went on the air, you looked at us and you said, I hope people listen to you. And we know people are gonna listen to you and our best to you and the folks of Florida. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. What the ladies talking about?